The Silveston Hydrogon D120 ARGB is a dual tower air CPU cooler which is meant to deliver a great cooling performance and also offer a good clearance around your system. The Hydrogon D120 IRGB, not to be misspelled as Hydrogen, is priced at around 50 US dollars or euros, which means that this cooler will compete with the Noctua NH-U12S or the Arctic Freezer 34 CPU coolers. The design of the Hydrogon D20 IRGB is good and it will match any system you can think of, as this CPU cooler has a silver and black color combination, with an added addressable RGB flavor on the top. The cooler has a height of just 153mm and a depth of 112mm, with a total weight of just 885 grams. The main advantage of the Hydrogon D120 ARGB is the clearance. Despite using two 120mm fans for its active cooling, this CPU cooler will not interfere with the RAM slots of the motherboard. This is achieved by having an offset design for the heat pipes, which push the heatsink and thus the fans away from the RAM modules. The heatsink of the cooler has a dual tower design and uses both aluminum and copper in its construction. The front tower has 38 aluminum cooling fins, while the back tower has around 42 cooling fins. The different size heatsink towers are used to accommodate for the offset shape of the heat pipes. Speaking of the cooling fins, there isn't anything special design-wise. The ends are bent down to create an overlapped structure, but outside of that, these cooling fins are quite basic. The Hydrogon D120 ARGB uses 6 heat pipes, each with a standard diameter of 6mm. As is the case these days with many air CPU coolers, the heat pipes are made from nickel plated copper to not only have a better endurance but also to match the rest of the cooler in terms of the design. Unfortunately, the ends of these heat pipes are not covered and are also not really that symmetrical. This will not affect the performance of the cooler in any way, however, it can be an issue design wise for many users. The base plate of this cooler is pretty big and is made from solid nickel plated copper, just like the heat pipes. The surface of the base plate is very smooth and straight, thus the spread of the thermal compound will be even. The two fans used on this cooler have the standard 120mm dimensions and have the model number CC12025H12S. These fans have been used before with other Silverstone Air CPU coolers. These fans have a maximum speed of 1850 RPM and thankfully can be controlled through PWM. Furthermore, these fans have 9 individual addressable RGB LEDs and 2 sets of connectors for power and RGB. Other features of these fans include rubber parts on the corners of the fan frame to dampen the vibrations and also prevent any scratches from occurring on the aluminum cooling fins of the heatsink. Unfortunately, the cables of these fans are completely exposed but are flat, so the wires management should be easy. The accessories included with this cooler are, well, exactly what you need and nothing more. First, there is a user manual, then we have a Philips screwdriver and finally a tube of thermal compound. Afterwards, we have the mounting system which is composed out of a plastic made backplate, metal studs, plastic clips, mounting arms, metallic nuts and plastic spacers. The installation process is very easy. First of all, you take the back plate and insert the studs at the back, then secure the studs on the back plate with these plastic clips. Afterwards, you place the whole thing on the back of the motherboard and then place the plastic spacers over the studs at the front of the motherboard. Afterwards, you place the mounting arms onto the studs and spacers and secure those with these metallic nuts. Finally, you apply the thermal compound on the CPU surface and install a heatsink on the mounting arms. You secure the heatsink by tightening these pre-installed spring-loaded screws. Afterwards, you install the two fans onto the heatsink and connect them to the right fan headers on your motherboard and you're pretty much done. And this is how the Silverstone Hydrogon D120 ARGB looks like once installed and up and running. And it is not a bad looking cooler at all. It looks quite modern, yet not over the top like some other models available these days. And what about the clearance? Well, the clearance for the RAM slots is excellent. The front fan does not even reach the RAM modules, let alone interfere with them. The graphics card clearance is also good, with around 25mm of space between the sides of the heatsink and the backplate of the graphics cards. This space is barely enough for you to access the top mounted M.2 socket. It could have been better, but it's good enough. Before we move on with the performance testing of this CPU cooler, it's time to hear how it sounds like. 
And as is the case with all CPU cooler reviews on this channel, you will get to hear a noise sample of this cooler with both its fans spinning to their maximum rated speeds. I am doing this because while a decibel measuring is useful, it does not take into account external sound sources, such as bearing ticking on the fans, vibrations on the heatsink and more. With both fans spinning at their maximum speeds of 1850 RPM, the Hydrogon D120 ARGB has a maximum noise output of 44 decibels, with the measuring device placed at a distance of 10 cm away from the system and the CPU cooler, a value which places the Silverstone Hydrogon D120 ARGB next to the Silverstone Permafrost or the AMD Wraith Spire. Could this noise output be lower? Perhaps, but with two fans that spin at nearly 2000 RPM, it's not too bad. The performance testing is done, unless otherwise stated, with an Intel i9-9900K CPU, running both at its factory frequency and settings and then overclocked manually to 5GHz on all cores. The first test uses the Intel Burntest V2 benchmark, a synthetic benchmark which places a load onto the CPU, which is similar with the CPU load you'd be getting if you're playing a modern AAA video game. And in this test, the Silverstone Hydrogon D120 ARGB reached a maximum temperature of 63 degrees Celsius, with the CPU overclocked to 5 GHz on all cores, and a temperature of 54 degrees Celsius with the CPU running at its factory settings. All this with the ambient temperature set at a fixed 26 degrees Celsius. This places the Hydrogon D120 ARGB in between the Noctua NH-U12S Redux and the Sky Ninja 5. However, the next test is where each CPU cooler is pushed to its limits, some of them even beyond that, as this test is using the AIDA64 Extreme FPU System Stability Test. This synthetic benchmark will place an unrealistically high load onto the CPU, something which you will rarely encounter in your daily usage, unless you are doing heavy video rendering using the CPU as the only rendering unit. And in this test, the Hydrogon D120 ARGB reached a maximum temperature of 89 degrees Celsius, which the CPU overclocked to 5 GHz on all cores and a temperature of 63 degrees Celsius with the CPU running at its factory settings. This makes the Hydrogon D120 ARGB pretty much equal in performance with the Noctua NH-U12S CPU cooler. Not a bad result, however, we have to keep in mind that the Noctua NH-U12S uses a single 120mm fan and it is smaller. The Silverstone Hydrogon D120 ARGB is an affordable CPU cooler that manages to satisfy both worlds, RGB and looking decent inside a system which has little to no RGB. Not only that, but this CPU cooler is well made. Sure, the build quality is not on the level of Noctua, but it's not that far off. The overall performance is good, however, if there is a drawback with this cooler, it's the high noise output. I say high as this cooler uses two fans that spin at 1850 RPM and can only match the cooling performance of the Noctua NH-U12S, a cooler which is not only smaller, but uses just a single 120mm fan. The installation process is very easy thanks to the simple mounting system, which to be completely honest is easy to work with but has way too many parts. Thankfully most of these are made from solid metal. The Silverstone Hydrogon D120 ARGB is a good CPU cooler that will offer a decent performance for a good price, that is, if it stays under or around 50 US dollars or euros, above that and you have better option available. If you like this review, then you might consider subscribing for more and also if you want to support the channel in a direct way, then in the description below you will find the links for both the Patreon and the Subscriber Star pages of this channel.